Okay, this is going to be a video on how to set up an IP reader on an IP900. Uh, first thing you're going to want to have is you're going to want to have your MAC addresses off of your RFID readers that you're trying to install. Jot those down because you're going to need to put them in the phone system. Uh, the IP900 uses uh, Google Chrome, so you're going to want to type your ad address in just like you see it up here. Uh, https colon forward slash forward slash IP address slash WESP W E S P don't worry about the login or PHP any of that stuff you just need I this right here IP address slash WESP where you find this address at is in function 821 uh, going through the telephone so once we uh, go ahead and come down here and hit advanced proceed it's telling you this because HTTPS is a secure website and ESI is not go ahead and put your system password in there uh, and pull your programming from your phone system remember you want to use Google Chrome or you know they say Mozilla works I prefer Chrome Chrome seems to work pretty good uh, once you get done doing this you can save this uh, in your favorites over here and rename it you know whatever site you're at so that you always got a connection to that phone system okay pull down our program data what we want to do is we want to come down here to extensions definition and routing And then what we want to do is we want to come down here and we want to find some available IP extensions. Okay. So if we slide this bar over, it lets us slide down even further. Okay, as you can tell, we've got some additional IP phones right here not being used, no names or anything on them. So what you're going to want to do is click on the column that you want to change come back up here and hit edit selected rows put your MAC address in right here for your reader alright pretty simple go ahead and name it whoops go ahead and name it up here okay and we want it to be a local reader okay so go ahead and change the type to a local reader name your reader put your MAC address in here um, come down here and hit set then what you want to do is come down here and save your program changes it should pop up here in the corner wanting you to send them okay in the event I'm not going to send my program changes here because I haven't changed anything but this should get your reader up and running in the event that you do not have any available extensions right here or none shown you want to come down here to IP programming the very last option ESI IP station allocation what's going to do is it's going to show you how many ports you have available right here shows I have one port available if you need more extensions just change ESI IP these are your phones just click on that and change it to 35 or 32 or you know whatever you have available um, to be able to change those okay pretty simple when you change this right here it automatically sends programming you do not have a choice so you gotta make sure you got all your programming done before you do this part right here okay once you set your read once your reader comes up and comes online shows you time and date what you want to do is come up here to extensions again find your reader that you just configured nine hundred's a little slow just bear with it okay if we come down here and I want to 
play with the back door, what you want to do is you want to change these to entrance exit. Okay, they should say entrance exit. All right, so click on your reader, turn it blue, come up here to the top, edit selected rows. Right here is where you can change it from entrance exit. Okay, call forward day, call forward night. This is where the reader is going to ring when you press the call button. Typically, this is going to go to the operator phone uh, or to a department. Okay, you'll have to look in the phone system and see if there's a department built for the doors. If there is, change this to the door department by selecting department picking what door you want it or what department you want it to go to in this case is our operator department yours may say door it may not have any at all just need to find out from the customer what phones that the uh, the door call button needs to ring on okay if you got an existing system out there you can look in your look at your existing readers find out where they're ringing at and make them ring the same place if you want don't forget to come down here and hit set save your program changes and then apply your program changes after that your reader should be up and working what you want to do as well with your tags if you come down here to your tag programming 372 it's going to show all of your tags you're going to want to come over here okay edit selected and add your new door if you have existing readers already with pre-configured fobs and cards you're going to want to come over here and add the new doors to your cards. Otherwise, your cards will not be able to access them. That's going to be it for this uh, setting up of an IP reader on an IP900. Uh, stay tuned for more videos from Telstar Technologies for tech-related uh, questions and uh, tutorials.